3 d logos are pretty amazing, aren't they? They have that modern, dynamic, tangible feel that really helps the brand stand out from the crowd. But I'm sorry to burst your bubbles. They're not 3D, it's just an illusion. 2D elements that have been assembled to convey depth and volume, tricking your eyes into seeing 3D. Stick around and I will show you how. It's really easy. Hi, I'm Elvin, a senior graphic designer here at Canva. 3D illusions coming in photography, art galleries, and even straight art have long fascinated us. They seize our attention by surprising and challenging our perception, presenting something unexpected in traditionally two-dimensional spaces. Our brands, naturally drawn to novelty and complexity, are captivated and drawn into the image as we try to work out how it was created. When this concept is applied to branding and marketing, it results in reviewers spending more time engaged with the design, a definite win for any brand. So, how can we harness this visual power? Well, it's all about understanding and manipulating visual cues to create a sense of depth and dimension by cleverly using techniques such as perspectives and foreshortening, shading, gradients and highlights, shadows and layering. Artists can trick our brand into perceiving a flat image as a three-dimensional object. In Canva, it's incredibly easy. Let me show you three quick ways to get the 3D effect for your logo or brand mark. Okay, let's begin with a watermark logo using a font from Canva's huge library. Or maybe it's a brand typeface you have rise to and have uploaded yourself. Either way, when you select it and hit this button, you will get a whole range of effects options. Lift is a really subtle way to give in more depth. As the name suggests, it slightly lifts the text from the background by creating a muted shadow around the letters. Handy when your logo needs to sit on top of an image or color. You can adjust the intensity here. Shadow is going to give you a lot more options and will also give you an opportunity to change the color. Offset is the distance the shadow travels from the ladder. Direction and transparency are straightforward and blur effects how hard the edge is. As you can see, you can actually recreate the leaf effects here. Echo might also be a fun one to play with. Drop the offset and you have an alternative to shadow with an extra layer of depth. Okay, let me show what you can do when you start to mix a few of these by layering duplicates on top of each other. Let's try this. And move like this. What about this? Oh nice, that's working. Isn't that cool and quick too? If you want to know more about text effects, you should check out this video by Nano. He goes into more detail and even shows you how you could animate it. Okay, now we have separated the text from the background, we can start to have some fun by placing elements in front and behind. Head into the Elements tab, search for 3D and choose Graphics. As you can see, these results come preloaded with 3D illusions. Add this behind your logo and, just by association, your logo will appear 3D. Sneaky, huh? Or in front. This is a great way of adding some additional interest or sending subliminal messages. And if we start to think in layers, this is where we can really start to play with perception. By duplicating this element and moving one to the back, I can adjust these handles so it gives the impression this is just one graphic interacting with the text. 
You can see how you could easily create an effective logo by just combining 3D elements. This might be a good chance to talk about licensing and trademarks. When you register a trademark, that means you have the exclusive right to use that mark to distinguish your goods and services from other businesses. When creating a design in Canva, Canva grants you a non-exclusive license to use any content you incorporate from Canva's library. Because the license is a non-exclusive right, content from Canva's library can't be incorporated in a trademark registration. If you like to create logos on Canva that you can register as a trademark, there are two ways you can do this. Design an original logo from scratch in Canva without using any of Canva's library content. You can include basic lines and shapes from Canva's free library and fonts. You'll be surprised what you can create with these simple tools. If you think about it, everything is basically made from lines and shapes anyway. The other way is to upload your own logo designed to Canva, something you have designed yourself or have the rights to. And then you can just drag it into your layouts and documents. If you don't need exclusive rights to the logo you create and you don't intend to register the logo as a trademark, using content from Canvas library or starting with one of Canvas logo templates is a great way to get started. Just be sure to comply with Canvas content license agreement here. You can read more about trademarking logos created on Canva in our help article. Okay, how are you feeling? If you want more advice on the legalities, there's a video in our tips from the team playlist that goes into more detail. Just find the playlist here and there's a ton of good stuff here and more every week. Ah, here it is. Worth watching if you need a little more context. Okay, the final example I wanted to show you was a pop-out effect. This is a really fun technique that looks way harder than it actually is. I have found it this N, it has a 3D feel to it and it has no background. Of course, if there was a background, you could just use background remover from the edit photo menu. Okay, now I will grab a shape to put behind. What I'm going for is an illusion of the ladder coming out of the box. I can trick the eye by using duplicates and then changing the crop on each. Now, parts of the ladder look like they are inside and other parts look like they are coming out. As you can see, it's actually separate parts that just look like they are connected. Now that's sneaky. Depending on where you are going to use this, you can get all your file types here in the download menu. PNG is perfect for most things digital, PDF or print. SVG is a pro feature, but they can be scaled up or down without losing quality, making them good for web and print. It's pretty amazing the results you can get in hardly any time. So if you want a logo that stands out, have a modern look and is sure to get extra attention, then a 3D version might be exactly what you need. If you have any questions or feedback, we would be delighted to hear from you. Please leave your comments below and we'll respond as soon as possible. Wow, thrilled to see you're still here with us. Craving more captivating content? You absolutely must explore our playlist. It's brimming with gems just waiting to be discovered. Oh, and speaking of gems, this video right here is a must watch. Perfect to watch after this one. Can't wait to see you next time.